Hey everybody, Ann here. I wasn't going to do a video today, but I'm going to go ahead and do one. Yep, I'm wearing my patriotic colors today because, well, I'm an American and I love our next president of the United States, Donald Trump. Um, I'm sure you've heard about what happened to him. Um, yeah. I, I, I can't I can't even talk about it right now because it just makes me so angry. So instead, I'm going to focus on the positive. It's been raining, it's been raining, and I have been finding some cool mushrooms. I've been finding these two mushrooms for years on my property. The one on the left is Bolita sensibilis. The one on the right is bicolor bolete. The one on the left is poisonous. So there are some differences, but they really do look quite a bit the same. All right, the bicolor bolete is yellow, bright yellow on the bottom when young. And if you press on the uh, pore surface or spore surface, it doesn't hardly bruise blue. It may just bruise a little tiny bit. But for years, I've been pressing on some of them and they kind of bruise a little bit. So I thought, oh, if they bruise blue, you have to throw them out because they're poisonous. Well, this is not the case. Um, this one bruises very slowly. It is a, a completely edible mushroom. And here's one big difference between this one and the one on the left. If you cut the stem, you're not going to see nothing, man. It's going to stay yellowish. And that's, that's another difference. Look at that. That is a, a much richer stem. It's a little bit yellowish towards the top. And the flesh is, uh, it's white, but as it ages, it gets a little bit more yellowish. So let's take a look at this one, the Bolita sensibilis. It looks kind of the same. These are older specimens. Um, on the top and on the bottom, the pore surface is darker and it immediately stains blue, almost black. Check that out. But people get confused. Oh, and the tubes are like a normal size in the one on the left and on the right, they're, they're smaller. Um, See, look at the stem. The stem's slightly different. Uh, the newer or the younger specimens of the Boletus spec uh, sensibilis, oh, see, look at that. It stains totally black very quickly. And the bicolor does not. Uh, the stems on the young uh, Boletus sensibilis are usually kind of just yellowish. These are older ones, so they start getting a little bit darker as they age. So that's, um, you know, can, can confuse you a little bit. But just because mushroom stains blue doesn't mean it's poisonous. And see this one, the stem is mostly red, but it has a little bit of yellow up at the top. And see the, the difference in the coloring underneath? But some people will confuse them a little bit. So you've just got to be really, really careful because, you know, you can eat the one on the right, but you can't eat the one on the left. So I just decided to put it in the dehydrator. I'm going to have to bring it in here pretty soon because it's going to rain. But I've uh, got some jalapeno peppers down in there dehydrating as well. So that makes me happy. Also, you got to check this out. Check this out, you guys. See that? That is 100% full. Let me see if I can get up here. You see that? It's totally full. And look at this one. This one, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why it's not capturing as good as that other one, but I'll tell you what, it is almost full too. Once it fills up completely, I am going to, like I said before, treat it with some bleach, get rid of that algae. Look it, look it. It's all the way up to the top, totally full. I have three huge totes that are either completely full or almost full. You can't see down in there, but this is almost full. And once I empty all those buckets into it, it's totally going to be full. And there's plenty. Well, there's a, oh, I already, I already emptied these. Yeah, I emptied those this morning into it. Um, all of these buckets got some water in it. And let's see what we got going on over here. Oh, there's a little bit of water in there. That's okay. But all of my remaining plants and my new planted stuff is watered in really good for the last couple of days. And this, you remember this right here? This is the only remaining patty, plant, uh, patty pan plant. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Look at that. I think I may get an, a patty pan. I think there's another one in here somewhere. 
Yep, there's another one. I don't know though. Let me take this little thing off because sometimes they get kind of moldy and then, but I may get a patty pan. I'm still getting jalapenos and I'm still, oops, that, that's jalapeno. And I'm still getting cayenne. No more hornworms that I can see. But I don't know, maybe, maybe this wasn't a complete wash after all. Look at, look at this poor plant. This is the little green pepper plant that thinks it can. I think it can. I think it's going to come back. What do you think? I'm just so glad that it feels kind of cool right now. I'll tell you what, I've been sick on the dog for two days. I'm not going to describe all the symptoms, but um, I will tell you it's uh, like a gastrointestinal <laughs> related. But uh, today I was able to keep some food down and um, nothing... Nothing was going on, you know, down below there, so um, I think I'm on the mend. Oh, look at this frog pond. Totally full, and you probably can't see it, but there are a ton more new little tadpoles, and there's been plenty of full-grown frogs hopping out of this pond, so that's pretty good. Look at it, it's a heart. How's my chickens doing? You getting all muddy? Oh, Patsy's in their pen. They're all doing great. They're, the big girls are still laying the eggs. And these are doing good over here. It's an awful mess. Oh, there's BBL right over there. Can you see her? <laughs> She's so gorgeous. I kind of broke down the tomato plant. I didn't want to pull it out because I didn't want to disturb the roots. I just harvested some uh, eggplants, but these look like they are trying to come back and grow some more. Look at this. You check this out. This is the cucumber plant. And look at it. Let me see if I can get this in focus. <laughs> I may get a cucumber or two. Well, it's starting to rain again, so I'm going to come up on the porch and just sit here and enjoy the rain. I'm singing in the rain, I'm singing in the rain, what a glorious, I'm happy again, <laughs> goodness, torrential downpour indeed, at least it's not really windy, I'm digging it folks, I'm digging it, it's down to eight days, oh my gosh, Ooh. 47%, 99.5, I think we're good. And we're full. Yep, that's over 950 gallons of water altogether. And for dinner tonight, well, kind of a combination of stuff. I chopped up some of my tomatoes. I added some of my dehydrated carrots. And look, they look totally normal, rehydrated. I put that chopped up uh, eggplant in there. I put some jalapeno peppers in there and some of my dehydrated squash. Oh, let me find one of the mushroom pieces. There it is. Let me give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. This dinner is going to be great. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.